My name is Paul Woods, and I work with a nonprofit called Sky Truth. Uh, we're based in uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. Sky Truth uses uh, remote sensing to illuminate environmental issues. Uh, we work with a lot of satellite based data, and one of those is AIS, Satellite and Terrestrial Collective AIS. In 2014, we launched a project in partnership with Google and Oceana called Global Fishing Watch. Uh, the goal of Global Fishing Watch is to uh, provide a uniform measurement of fishing effort around the world uh, that's continuously updated with, uh, with uh, AIS tracking data as it becomes available. We got a data set from Orbcom, uh, satellite and terrestrial AIS data uh, from January 2012 until till now. And that data allows us to look at something like 200,000 vessels around the world over, over three years. And from that, we've extracted now about 20,000 fishing vessels. So uh, when we approached Orbcom and said, hey, we have this idea, we want to we wanted do a global fishing map, and we want to use AIS, and we want to find all the fishing and put it on a map, um, we said, well, so we need to, you know, we're going to figure out, have to figure out what data we need to use. Um, the problem was we knew there was something on the order of 200,000 vessels we could potentially see over the course of a few years. Um, and maybe 20 or 30,000 of those would be interesting to us, but we didn't know which 20 or 30,000, so we needed, uh, we needed to figure that out, and the only way to figure it out was to look at all the data, and uh, Orcom was very willing to be uh, flexible on how that research uh, agreement was set up so that we could, uh, we could look at all the data before we figured out what we were really doing. Uh, and so that's, it's been a very, um, uh, very fruitful and uh, satisfactory relationship.